Algebraic expression is an expression made up of constant variables along with basic operations. Along with basic operations. Clear? What is constant? Constant means fixed value. Clear? Constant means fixed value. The value does not change. 2 means 2 only. 7 means 7 only. Okay, you cannot change the value. Clear? That is constant. All numbers are called constants. Clear? What is variable? The value can vary. Clear? Value can vary. That is a variable. The value what changes. Value changes. That is variable. For example, uh, last three letters of alphabets. Clear? That is a variable. X, Y, Z. Always we denote a variable X, Y, Z. Clear? That is last three letters of alphabets. Understand? Then along with basic operations. What, what is basic operations? Mathematical operations. That is mathematical operations. What are the mathematical operations? Plus, minus, into, divide. Clear? You see the example. 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. So 5 is constant. 5 is constant here. Clear? Here variable using x. Variable is x. Then plus symbol. Mathematical operation or basic operation. Clear? So together it is called expression. Clear? Any expression you have constant. Clear? Variables and a operation. Okay. Some more example also I will write here. 3x plus 5. This is also expression. Clear? This is also expression. Even 2x is also expression. Clear? So these are the expression. You see, in each expression you have terms. Clear? In this expression, this is first term, second term, third term. You have terms. So how many terms are there in this expression? Three terms are there. Three terms are there. In this expression, how many terms are there? Two terms. So always the term is uh, uh, splitting with the mathematical operation. Clear? The main role of math basic operation here, plus and minus, will split the terms. Clear? Here what? 3 into 3 into x, 3x plus 5. So 3x is one term. Clear? Then plus 5. 5 is uh, another term. Clear? Here the plus symbol is uh, splitting into two terms. Clear? That is uh, very important here. So this expression uh, is having two terms. Here one terms here one terms then uh, you learned in lower class coefficients also clear coefficient means what this x squared coefficient is 2 coefficient of x squared is 2 coefficient of x is plus 3 then this is constant term there is no variable in the term means that is constant term clear here Coefficient of x is 3. Coefficient of x squared is 2. Clear? So next you see polynomial. A polynomial is an expression in which the exponent on any variable is a whole number. Exponent means what? Power. Power on any variable is a whole number. See polynomial is just the expression. Clear? See expression, just the expression, but the uh, exponent of the variable you see, all variable it is whole number. Clear? Exponent uh, on any variable you take. This is this polynomial is uh, what variable variable in polynomial in x having one variable polynomial in x. Clear? This expression is having one variable. Clear? One variable. All exponent you see, that is whole number. Clear? Even the last term, 1 into x power 0, you can write. 1 into x power 0. 1 into 1 you take, that is x power 0. Clear? 
we can write that's why x power 0 is 1 that's why that will be ignored clear now second one also you see the number may be fraction okay number may be fraction clear the constant uh, may be what uh, or fraction clear even that that's why what uh, real numbers if in, in the coefficients you may have what real numbers clear any real numbers these are the examples of polynomials clear next we will see degree of a polynomial the highest exponent on the variable in your polynomial is the degree of the polynomial the highest exponent clear in the polynomial you see the example in the polynomial highest exponent exponent means power highest power in a polynomial that is degree here uh, uh, in this example you see here uh, what is the highest power 2 so the degree of this polynomial is 2 the degree of this polynomial is 2 same way you see the degree of uh, this polynomial highest uh, power is 7 so degree is 7 clear so here the degree of this polynomial highest power is 1 here there is no clear uh, number means in the power no number means that is 1 clear so here the degree is 1 okay so next types of polynomials polynomials can be classified based on number of terms and the degree of the polynomial clear in lower class also you have studied this okay first you will see based on number of terms based on number of terms monomial you know monomial means a polynomial is having only one term example you see 7x 6x square 9xy like this you can write down clear so many examples you can write down so next we will see binomial a polynomial is having two terms your polynomial is having two terms that is called binomial example you see x plus 5 we have two terms then we have 3x squared minus 25 two terms here then 100x power 5 plus 7 that is two terms so these are uh, binomials here next to come to trinomial trinomial means having three terms having three terms so some example you see x squared plus 3x plus 5 having three terms first term second term third term so total three terms same way you see this polynomial uh, 3 x cube plus x squared plus x three terms then uh, root 2 x squared plus 1 by 5 x minus 7 you see all the powers powers of the polynomial you see all four numbers suppose we have negative number means that is not polynomial suppose you have x power minus 2 not polynomial root 2 x that is also not polynomial clear polynomial means the power you have to see the power Clear power of the variable okay is only whole number it should be whole number okay next we will see based on degree okay linear polynomial based on degree first one is linear polynomial what is linear polynomial a polynomial whose degree is one is called linear polynomial standard form in lower class also you might have studied standard form ax plus b a not equal to 0 and a b are reals real real means any real number clear example you see first one 5x plus 1 and the second one root 2x minus 5 because the coefficients uh, okay that is a and b are reals so root 2 is real number clear root 2 is real number that is actually irrational number but uh, all uh, rational and irrational numbers are called real number clear in previous chapter we studied that's all next to come to quadratic polynomial what is quadratic polynomial a polynomial of degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial degree here degree 2 means quadratic polynomial clear standard form using ax squared plus bx plus c where a b c are reals and a not equal to 0 a not equal to 0 is very important clear because a not equal to 0 a not equal to 0 only you will get a quadratic polynomial a equal to 0 means what will happen okay you will not get the x square term 
a zero means zero into x square what zero will not get a what or uh, x square term so it will be linear polynomial clear that's why a not equal that condition is very important see the examples 2x square plus 5x plus 7 then 3x square plus 6x plus root 2 clear next you see cubic polynomial a polynomial of degree 3 is called cubic polynomial a polynomial of degree 3 is called cubic polynomial right whose standard form you see that is general form ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d where a b c are reals and the a not equal to 0 clear examples you see first one 3x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 1 second one 1 by 2x cube minus root 2x square plus 7x minus 3 clear so these uh, are cubic polynomial next to come to constant polynomial so what is constant polynomial all non zero real numbers all non zero real numbers are called constant polynomial whose degree is zero degree is zero you see the example all numbers constant polynomial clear so degree how we will know degree is zero see any number you take seven you take okay seven into one 7 so that I am writing into 1 so in place of 1 you can write the x power 0 clear you can in place of 1 you write you can write x power 0 anything power 0 is 1 that's why I am taking x power 0 clear so now you see the d what is the degree here degree means what highest power clear so in this polynomial highest power is 0 so degree is 0, clear. But a 0 polynomial, 0 polynomial, you see 0 polynomial, 0 is 0 polynomial, whose degree is not defined, whose degree is not defined, clear. You have to remember, always remember, 0 polynomial degree is not defined. We will denote P of x equal to 0, clear. P of x equal to 0 clear so the this is what uh, name of the polynomial clear we will write the, all polynomials we can easily you know p of x q of x r of x clear g of x like that we will denote. so next we will see how to denote the polynomials okay if the variable in a polynomial is x we may denote the polynomial by p of x or q of x or r of x like that you can denote on it for example you see p of x means a polynomial in x one variable you have to take and write p of x means polynomial in x 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 q of x means a polynomial in x again x cube minus 1 some example you can give then R of Y means uh, polynomial in Y, polynomial in Y, variable Y, it is Y cube plus Y squared plus Y plus 1. Then S of U means uh, polynomial in U, 2 minus U minus U squared plus 6 U cube. So like this uh, we will denote the polynomials, so clear, we can name the polynomial like this, okay, by giving a, uh, uh, what a, uh, P of x, Q of x, R of x, like this we can easily denote the polynomials. Okay, a polynomial can have uh, any finite number of terms. A polynomial can have any finite number of terms. For example, you see x power 150 plus x power 149 plus x power 148 plus dot dot plus x squared plus x plus 1. It's a polynomial with 151 terms. Okay, from 152 what x power 1? 150 terms plus constant term that is uh, 1 is including total 151 polynomial. Okay, a polynomial in one variable x of degree n is of the form a n x power n plus a n minus 1 x power n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a 1 x plus a naught plus a naught. So these uh, a a n a n minus 1 all are constants. Okay. So we have to denote uh, uh, what like this a suffix n 
a sub x n. Clear? Then a sub x n minus 1. If you denote only what? We, because we need more number of constants. If you denote a, b, c, d means, okay, it will not sufficient. That's why we are denoting with suffix a, n. Clear? In order. We are taking in order a, n, x power n. Then a, n minus 1, x power n minus 1. Okay, it is going on. Then a1, x, last a0. Clear? <coughs> So here, uh, what is the total number of terms uh, in this? Uh, what is the total number of terms? So x power n, starting x power n, up to x power 1, that is n terms. Plus this a0, including a0, that is constant term, including constant term, n plus 1 terms. It is having n plus 1 terms. How we have here 151 terms, clear? 151 terms here. Same way here, n plus 1 terms we have, clear? Where a not a one a two a three all reals, okay, and a n not equal to zero, then only we will get the nth degree polynomial, okay. If in which a one a a one equal to a not equal to a two equal to what up to a n equal to zero means all constants are zero means then we will get zero polynomial, we get zero polynomial. So which is denoted by zero. It is denoted by 0. So that you can uh, easily write like this. P of x is equal to 0. It's called 0 polynomial. But 1 by x squared plus x minus 2. You see 1 by x squared. This can be written as x power minus 2. So here the exponent that is power is minus negative. Negative is not whole number. So it is not polynomial. Same way, root 2 x squared plus 2 root 2, 2 root x, 2 root x. So, root x, how will you write it? x power 1 by 2, fraction. So, that is also not whole number. Clear? So, exponent should be only whole number. Okay? So, here also using 1 by x, there. x can, 1 by x can be written as x power minus 1. So, exponent is negative means not whole number. Clear? So these are not polynomials. Next to some points we have to always remember. First one, degree of constant polynomial is 0. Clear? Degree of 0 polynomial is not defined. Degree of linear polynomial is 1. Degree of 4th degree polynomial is 4. Degree of nth degree polynomial is n. Degree of quadratic polynomial is 2. Degree of cubic polynomial is 3. So next we will see exercise uh, 2.1. First problem is which of the following expressions are polynomial in one variable and which are not. State uh, reasons for the answer. Okay, first two uh, polynomial you see 4x squared minus 3x plus 7. So it is polynomial in x. Okay, because all the term, all the term have non-negative integral powers of x. So x power you see, x power you see, all are whole numbers or we can say non-negative okay uh, numbers non-negative numbers clear that is uh, whole numbers x having whole numbers or non-negative integral powers of x we have so now second problem you see this is also what it is polynomial in y it is polynomial in is polynomial in in y Okay, so same reason, same reason you write because all terms have non-negative integral powers of y here. You have to write non-negative integral powers of y. You have to write clear. Next problem is three root t plus t root two. T root two. You see this can be written as three t power one by two. Root t means what? Uh, t power 1 by 2. Clear? Square root 2. Okay. Uh, t power 1 by 2. Okay. Now plus uh, t into root 2. t into root 2. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. It is not a polynomial. Why? Power of variable t is uh, not whole number because it is fraction. Fraction means not whole number. It should be whole number. Okay. Powers of uh, variable in a polynomial should be whole number. Then only it is polynomial. Otherwise, it is not polynomial. Clear? So, next polynomial you see. y plus 2 by y. y plus 2 by y. 
So this is nothing but what? 2 plus 2 into y power minus 1. You bring this uh, what? Uh, y in the numerator. It is in the denominator. Bring it in the numerator means power. You have to put negative. That is y power minus 1. Here y squared there means y power minus 2. Clear? Understand you are applying law, loss of exponents. Okay. Loss of exponents you are applying. Clear? That's why. Therefore, uh, the it is, this is also not a polynomial. Okay, it is not a polynomial. It is not a polynomial. Why? Same reason because power of variable y is not whole number. It's not whole number. Power of variable y is not whole number because negative negative number is there. So negative number there means uh, the power negative there means that is not whole number. Okay. So see this polynomial x power 10 plus a y power 3 plus uh, t power 50. So all the powers uh, whole number. But uh, still uh, it is not a uh, polynomial in one variable you see. Because the question is what? Uh, or polynomial in one variable. But uh, it is having more than one variable. Three variables are there. So it is not a polynomial in one variable. Okay. It is not. A polynomial in one variable. It's not polynomial in one variable because it is having three variables. Because it has three variables. It has three variables. Okay. So next to problem you see, give one example, each of the binomial of degree 35 and of a monomial of degree 100. So on keeping the degree 35, how to write a binomial, binomial means what, having two terms only, okay, whose degree 35 you have to write. So, so many examples you can give, 2x power 35, right. Okay. Plus some number 100. So two terms. Okay, two terms whose degree 35. So having two terms is binomial whose degree 35 according to this condition. Here okay. you can write so many examples you can write. Okay, you can write uh, uh, x power 35 plus x power 10. You can write here okay. like this. So many examples you can write. Same way, second one you see. Second one, and a monomial of degree 100, monomial means having only one term. So, you can write 5x power 100, 5x power 100, 5x power, this is only one term, this is only one term, clear? Monomial means having only one term, whose degree should be what? 100. So, here 100 degree power means power 100, 5 into x power 100, or simply x power 100 also you can write, nothing wrong with that, clear? 5x power 100, you can write. That is also one term. That is monomial. Clear? So, 5x power 100. Okay, for my convenience, I am writing 5x power 100. Clear? So, I will give some uh, over problems in this video. Okay? You can do.